day 62. Today I'm going to pull some more weeds out of this mixed bed. I really think it turned out good. I'm super pleased with it. Um, I wanted it to be kind of all different colors. I planned everything kind of close together so that um, the colors would kind of mix together and blend in. So I'm very, very happy with how this is turning out, but there are some weeds trying to pop through where they can. So we are going to pull those out. It didn't rain last night, so that should make my job a little easier today. So um, yeah, see, everything's coming out pretty, pretty easy. I wanna be very careful not to disturb um, actual flowers. I'm going to lift this one up. I can't tell if that's part of the flower. That weed looked a whole lot like the same foliage as this pretty orange thing. So we have a lot of mini bells and a lot of um, petunias and different things in here that have all grown together. That one isn't wanting to come out at all, but maybe if we get most of these weeds out, then that'll get the flowers a chance to kind of fill in in this little spot here and if the flowers are completely covering the ground like they do um, in the majority of this area then we don't really have to worry about the weeds because the weeds will need sunlight to kind of um, sprout and grow up but weeds only need a very small amount of resources they are much more resilient than um, the beautiful flowers I was always told that weeds are just plants that you don't want and that flowers are really just weeds that we do want. So I don't know if that's completely true because um, weeds do tend to grow a whole lot more abundantly than the beautiful flowers that we like to see in the garden. Well, there's some leaves left over even from the fall. So we... Um, I'm putting all the, the weeds that I pull up in this pot right there um, by my side, so I will put that in the compost. Isn't that beautiful? There's some verbena. The red and the pink were both verbena. These are mini bells. So and we just have a big mixed variety. So um, as we continue to pull the weeds and um, especially around this edge here, like I said, I need to be careful and not pull up these, there's a little tree, pull up these um, beautiful purple petunias because um, I want to keep those as healthy as possible while getting the weeds out from around the edge. Right here on the edge where the flowers tend to end is where the weeds are going to kind of creep in the most. So I'm going to have to lift these up and try to get all the weeds out from underneath and around the edge here. And I've also been using my black tarp to kind of try to kill the weeds that grew up um, in my path area. But see, I'm going to have to kind of raise these petunias up. See, these weeds are trying to creep out. Like I said, it just takes a very little amount of sunlight and they can kind of grow up underneath things and spread. And um, so weeds are probably the biggest problem that I have in my garden. Um, I've tried to use the barrier cloths in the past and they work for a short time and then um, as the dirt flows around the weeds end up figuring out how to find one little speck of dirt and root um, despite the barrier and the rocks on top of it. So I've just kind of opted to doing it the hard way and um, that makes it easier too for me to move things around and, and um, add things as the years go by. I will be disappointed that these flowers will not last until next year. So this beautiful, beautiful area here will all die um, with the few exception of some things in the back that are a little bit taller. Those are um, perennials back there. Those, those red ones that are a little bit taller in the back. But all of this beautiful mix will die and we will have to replant that next year so thank you so much for watching tomorrow we're going to talk more about how we can get rid of these weeds